Okay, that's my creepy lounge voice. I'll stop doing that now. Yes, it's the holiday season. It's that time of year where we bring out decorations and holiday food and ugly sweaters and Christmas songs that we like to hear. No. No. Okay, that's that's not even funny. There, that's better. And it also is a time when we exchange gifts with each other. And this year, I participated in the Secret Santa program through BGG. And if you haven't heard, Secret Santa is where a lot of people get together, throw their name in a hat, and each person is given the name of another person that they're supposed to send a gift to. And it's supposed to be done secretly so that nobody will know who sent who something. And with BGG, you can put your wish list out there of games that you're interested in. And it just so happens that I got my Secret Santa package right here that I have not opened yet. So... I think I'm going to open up and let's see what we got inside. All right, here we go. I'm so excited. And I bet with these gifts, I won't have to give that post after opening a bad gift, fake response and smile. You know the one I'm talking about. Oh, Marty, open mine next. I heard you like playing board games with your little friends. Oh, well, thanks, Aunt Irma. Yeah, I'm, I'm really into board games now. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to play with all my gaming buddies. I love it. Okay, I actually got two boxes, and this one's from Amazon. Everything I've ordered from Amazon I've accounted for, so I'm hoping that this is also part of the Secret Santa, and if it's not, it's going to be pretty embarrassing, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, it could be like underwear or something. No, it's definitely Secret Santa. Check this. The Lord of the Rings... Road to Darkness expansion. This, oh. So, I love the Lord of the Rings LCG, but I kind of got out of it the past couple years because I was so into other games like Netrunner. But when they started releasing these saga expansions that go along with the story of Lord of the Rings, which I absolutely love, I kind of got back into it. And so this is the second expansion. So I cannot wait to dive into this. I'm, I'm going to get every one of these and play through the story. So, awesome. Thank you. Okay, box number two. Got the cutter. Oh, look, it's these things. Paper, come on. I, I hate these things. All right, let's see. Ooh, ooh. Oh, red seven. I got red seven. Yes. Ha! That's awesome. Just saw this game played so much at BGG Con. Everybody's been talking about it. Tony's got a copy, but I didn't have a copy. Yeah. Family holiday game. Wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh my. This one's wrapped. Wow, that is. I have no idea. Imperial Settlers. First time I got to play this was at BGG Con with Ignacy Shevichek himself, who designed the game from Portal Games, and he taught me how to play it. I fell in love with it. I, I love the simple mechanics of it. It makes a great, quick, fast Euro, which is kind of my thing right now. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, whoever plays next with me locally will be playing this because I really want to get this game in. Oh, that's awesome. So I got... The Red Seven, Lord of the Rings, Imperial Settlers. Oh, yeah. Fantastic Secret Santa, whoever you are. Thank you so much. While it's always great to receive gifts this time of year, I've always found that you also get a lot of joy from giving gifts, too, especially maybe to those in need. And there are so many charities and organizations and events out there right now for supporting those in need, and especially children.
And if you support any of those, maybe you ought to consider maybe giving the gift of games this year, too, along with the other things that they might need. Because we all know, all know that games can be so important and play such an important role in a child's life as far as developing social skills and even for education and, and just for flat out fun. And there are so many organizations that are looking out for children this time of year, such as Toys for Tots, the Angel Tree Program, or even Operation Christmas Child, which helps support needy children all across the world. Well, I guess that's my signal that it's time for me to wrap this up. So from all of us, which is just Tony and I, at Rolling Dice and Taking Names, we want to wish each of you a very wonderful holiday and a very Merry Christmas. By the way, this is just a special effect. This isn't really happening. Let's know.